Abrasive Jet Machining Process, AJM. It is also known as abrasive microblasting, pencil blasting, and microabrasive blasting. It is an abrasive blasting process that uses abrasives propelled by a high-velocity gas to erode material from the workpiece. What is abrasive? An abrasive is a material, often a mineral, that is used to shape or finish a workpiece through rubbing, which leads to part of the workpiece being worn away by friction. The process makes use of an abrasive jet with high velocity to remove material and provide smooth surface finish to hard metallic workpieces. It is similar to water jet machining process. To understand abrasive machining process fully, watch this video till the end. This video will cover the following about abrasive jet machining process. 1. Working principle. 2. Construction. 3. Working. 4. Applications. 5. Advantages and disadvantages. If you are new to ADTW, click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification. Let's start. Working principle. The fundamental principle of abrasive jet machining involves the use of a high-speed stream of abrasive particles carried by a high-pressure gas or air on the workpiece surface through a nozzle. The metal is removed due to erosion caused by the abrasive particles impacting the work surface at high speed. Construction. The abrasive jet machining setup consists of following things. Compressor. Air filter. Pressure gauge. Flow regulator. Mixing chamber. Hopper. Vibrator. Nozzle. Working. The air is drawn by the compressor, it pressurizes the gas to a higher pressures. Usually the air is compressed to a pressures between 25 to 130 psi g. After compressor, there is a filter. The function of the filter is to clean the impurities present in the atmospheric air. After filter, there is a pressure gauge, which shows the exact pressure of the air coming from the compressor. Then the compressed air passes through pressure flow regulator valve. The function of the valve is to regulate the flow rate of abrasive jet. After this, air passes to the mixing chamber. It is used to mix the gas and abrasive particles. Here, in the mixing chamber, the abrasive particles are fed with the help of hopper. The usual size of the abrasive particles is about 0.001 inch or 0.025 millimeters. A vibrator is provided below the mixing chamber. It controls the abrasive powder feed rate in the mixing chamber. Abrasive powder and the compressed air are thoroughly mixed in the mixing chamber. This pressurized mixture of air and abrasive particles is sent to nozzle. The nozzle increases the velocity of the mixture at the expense of its pressure. In other words, as the pressure drops outside the nozzle, all the pressure energy of the jet is converted into velocity. And this high velocity jet hits the workpiece. This jet is used to remove unwanted materials from the workpiece. This is how abrasive jet machining works. Since we understood the working, let us see its applications. The followings are some of the operations that can be performed using abrasive jet machining. Drilling, boring, milling, cleaning, trimming, surface finishing, cutting, bebering, and etching. Advantages. 1. Smooth surface finish can be obtained. 2. Hard materials and materials of high strength can be easily machined. 3. Surface of the work piece is cleaned automatically prior to cutting. 4. Equipment cost is low. Disadvantages. 1. Abrasive jet machining cannot be used for machining of soft materials. 2. Nozzle life is less. Nozzle should be maintained periodically. 3. Metal removal rate is low. 4. In certain circumstances, abrasive particles might settle over the workpiece. Hope you have understood abrasive jet machining process. If you like this video and want me to make more such videos, like this video and share with your friends. Also if you are new to ADTW, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you never miss an update.